Let me see. And shout out to everybody doing that real and true boxing talk. No clickbait. Now, Adam Kornoski has called out Deontay Wilder after he dismantled um, Gerald Washington. Now, he did call out both, though. He called out AJ and he called out Deontay Wilder. I think he called, he said this in an interview backstage bef after he fought Gerald Washington. This is the picture where he had the interview. I think it was with uh, Fight Height. He had an interview with them standing next to uh, Big Baby Miller. Now, that's when he said that, you know, he wasn't either AJ or Wilder. It's funny to me how nobody calls out or, or, um, Ortiz. I understand Luis Ortiz don't have a title, but, I mean, I'm just saying. It's just weird to me. <laughs> but real quick, I'm going to go through the specs. Adam, Adam Kognasi is 19-0. You know what I'm saying? He thinks, you know, it's his 20th fight or sometime soon it should be a title fight. He's fought for 76 rounds. He has a knockout, knockout rating of 79%. He's 29 years old. 6'3", with a 76-inch reach, and he's from Poland, but he fights out of Brooklyn, New York. Now, his last eight fights has been with uh, fighters with one or two losses. You know, he has yet to fight an undefeated fighter. Or, you know, a uh, um, fighter on, on Wilder's level. You know, and I say Wilder's level. I mean, shit, honestly, he hasn't fought a fighter on his own level before you even get to Wilder. Like, he has, Adam hasn't fought a fighter like himself. Or as good as himself, I would say. So, you know, that's a big step up, if you ask me. Wilder Specs is 40-0 with one draw. He has 39 knockouts. He's fought for 135 rounds. He has a 95 knockout percentage. Uh, he's 33 years old, 6'7", with an 83-inch reach. Um, and, of course, he's from Alabama. Now, Wilder's been pro since late 2000, since November 2018. I mean, 2008. Adam has been pro since 2009. Now, uh, he stopped fighting in 2010 all the way to 2013. So, um, 19 fights down, you know, he's, you know, he thinks he's ready for that step up in competition. Now, um, yeah, Adam says he want AJ or Wilder, okay? There's a whole never, another level of competition that, in my opinion, it's a never, another level of competition. And, uh, he hasn't fought any of them yet, you know, like... Uh, what's his name? Brazil. Brazil right now is Wilder's man, man, Mando. He's been his mandatory for a little while now. He hasn't fought Brazil, Pulev, uh, White, Parker, and Big Baby Miller, his stable mate. Like, he hasn't fought that level of competition. Like, he's fought everybody under that. You know, Spilka, whatever, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I understand he only got two losses and stuff like that, but, you know... That's under the level that I'm speaking about, you know. The top five, in my opinion, Deontay Wilder's at the top of that list, Luis Ortiz, and then Fury because, you know, of course they haven't fought yet, so that's all all matter of opinion, you know. Then it's AJ and, all, and a bunch of people that he hasn't fought yet. So, I mean, and a lot of people, how a lot of people's perceiving this, like it's good for him to think that, you know, for him to want – to prove himself, you know, and step up, step up in his competition. But bro, you can prove yourself by fighting Luis Ortiz. You can prove yourself by stopping White. You know, you can prove yourself other ways to get the attention that you need for media and fans to talk about you deserving a fight with AJ or Deontay Wilder. In my opinion, you don't deserve a fight with either one of these people. When a lot of a lot of fans say that Deontay Wilder don't deserve a fight with AJ. I mean, both of them are champions, the only two champions in, in a division. Regardless, if anybody don't think he deserves it, it should happen because we're all boxing fans and they should be one face and one name as far as the heavyweight division. We're down to two. You might as well just make it one unified champion, which makes complete, complete sense. In this case, you have a guy that... Um, that is 
that doesn't have 20 fights yet and feels he's ready for one of the champions, one of the two of the champions. I mean, honestly, I don't have a problem with him saying, calling the champions out. I don't have a problem with that at all. But the problem is, is that when fighters call out champions, the fans tend to think that the champions are ducking these other fighters, you know? And that's where uh, media comes in and people like me that have videos on YouTube. So I just honestly think that you can do that. You can make your point uh, knocking out Dillian White or knocking out Luis Ortiz. Have that them cats or somebody on that level first. I think it's easier for him to get a fight with them before getting a fight with AJ or Deontay Wilder. And... Um, Adam was talking about, you know, he's cutting everything in half that uh, Wilder already did as far as the people he fought, saying, you know, he 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 uh, beat up Spilka in half the time and Washington in half in half the time um, that uh, Wilder got him out of there, basically, you know. But you know, it, what I say to that is, you know, Styles make fights, you know, um, because honestly, when you look at uh, Charles Martin. Charles Martin, that fight with Adam and Charles Martin was a 10-round fight. That fight went all 10 rounds and it went to the scorecards. In my opinion, and I know a lot of people feel the same way, if Charles Martin fought Deontay Wilder on that same night, Deontay Wilder would have knocked him out, honestly. Deontay Wilder would have got Charles Martin out of there way before 10 rounds. So, I mean, styles make fights. So, right now, currently, uh, Adam is ranked number 8 in the WB. BC in number four in the IBF. Um, so, you know, everybody knows the, WB, the WBC champion is Deontay Wilder. So the IBF belongs to AJ. Okay. So even, even though Adam called out both AJ and Wilder, you know, um, he seems to be only talking about Wilder in these interviews, not AJ so much, even though he's ranked higher in the IBF than he is in the WBC. Is this because, you know, Wilder, I mean, this is this because Big Baby Miller and Adam are friends, you know, and Big Big Baby Miller has had his sights on AJ before him and, you know, supposedly Wilder, I mean, Miller, well, we know now that Miller is going to have that fight with AJ or, you know, does Adam just know that AJ isn't going to take that fight. <laughs> He's not going to take that fight with him. Um, whatever the case, you know, I don't think, you know, um, I don't think either one of them is thinking about Adam. I just don't, you know. And if he does get that title shot, it's not going to be this year. Probably won't even be next year if we're talking, you know, for real, for real, honestly. But I definitely know it ain't going to be this year in 2019. There's a lot going on, honestly. Since AJ don't have no, nobody to fight, he should give Adam a title fight and everybody else who's thinking about fighting him, you know, but, you know, he just got to pay. He just got to pay these fighters for them to say yes to these fights. You know, um, I think he has a better shot fighting AJ anyway than Wilder. But always like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments section if this fight, if these fights do take place, do you see Adam winning against Wilder or AJ? Let me know how you feel. Peace.